So I'll answer some of your most frequently asked questions about the GCC. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to this channel, if you're visiting for the first time, hi, my name is Zanele. Guys, can you believe it? We're more than 200 strong. For those of you that have subscribed, thank you so much. It's that small action that really makes it worthwhile and meaningful because it gives me the sense and the feeling that whatever I'm sharing and putting out there is useful to some of you guys. Basically, I'm wanting for individuals not to go through the same challenges and same experiences that I did and trying to make it easier for others to excel and succeed in their career growth as well. So if you haven't subscribed, press that subscribe button. Also click on the bell so you get notifications every time I upload new content. So in today's video, I'll take you guys through the most frequently asked questions. Um, you guys do send me emails and also DMs on LinkedIn. And a lot of the questions are somewhat similar. Some of them I have answered in one way or the other within videos. But some of these questions, they don't require as much content that will warrant a full-on video. So what I decided to do is pick the top five or the five that have been repeatedly asked by different individuals and try and quickly answer those and also refer you to the resource or even to the video that covers that topic and answers those questions. So one of the first questions, especially when I started posting around the PR age, the first question that has come up quite a lot is, can I get my PR age and my GCC? And the long and short of it is yes. So GCC, you guys know, is for electrical and mechanical engineers, for factories or for mines. Um, and the PRH, it goes and cuts across all the different um, disciplines of engineering. If you do have your GCC and you're looking to get your PRH, be mindful of the fact that for PRH or professional engineer accreditation, you need to have your BSc or your BH. So a lot of people that have their GCC sometimes feel that they can only apply for their PR certificates in engineership. But if you've got a BSc and a BH in engineering and you are exposed to design or complex problem solving, then you can apply for your PRH with EXA. I've got friends and colleagues that have both accreditations, so do remember and keep in mind that your GCC is accredited and um, obtained through the Department of Labor, and with your PRH, you get via EXA. So another commonly asked question, as much as the organizational field is different, but somewhat of a similar question is, if I work for, say, an automobile company or an FMCG, um, and I'm not exposed to mining, can I still get my GCC? So the answer is yes. So you can get your GCC because your GCC isn't only for mining engineers. GCC is also for factories. So when you write your law exam, yes, you write your theory for occupational health and safety for both. And when you write your practical exam, there is a there is a factories exam and there is a mines exam. For factories or mines, they'll ask if you're a mechanical or electrical. And your certificate will specifically call out that you're GCC certified, whether it's for electrical engineering or mechanical whether it's for electrical engineering or mechanical, and they will call out whether it's for mines or for factories. So even if you're not working in the mines, the legal requirements, especially for safety and the occupational health and safety, and with the regulations for factories as well. So do check out some of my previous videos on how to obtain the GCC. I have created a playlist for GCC, so feel free to go through all of that. Also leave a link below to the Department of Labor and the brochure. And I'll also leave some links as well to the videos that answer that particular question. So we know that with things like bursary schemes and where companies invest in us, with some of them, there is a, an obligation for us to pay them back in one way or the other. A question that has come through a couple of times is, if I get my training with an organization for me to get my GCC, and once I get my certification, do I need to serve back and use that GCC within that organization? Am I bound and stuck with that company? The answer to that question is no. Actually, your GCC and accreditation and certification is with the Department of Labor, and you can use that certification with any organization. It's not bound, and you're not chained down to the company that you were with before you got your GCC. So as soon as you get your accreditation, it probably will be more comfortable to start practicing in an environment that you're familiar with before you start exploring to bigger and better prospects. Um, but after getting your GCC, you're not bound or restricted to work in the factory or company that you were at before you got your accreditation. So another question that's come through is around studying further post getting the GCC. And for you guys that are looking to get your GCC and you've got your diploma, but are looking to study further, one of the questions that has come through is, once I get my GCC, can I still go back and continue to study further and get my BTEC and so on and so forth? 
The answer to that is yes, definitely. So by having your GCC, it doesn't restrict you to getting back to your tertiary or university or Technicon and getting your bachelor's in technology and further education. In fact, it doesn't restrict you from even diverting from a hardcore engineering stream and going a different route like business. Check out one of my videos where I spoke about the MBA. So getting your GCC doesn't restrict you from continuing to learn further and develop further and growing your academic achievements. Another frequently asked question is, where can I get more material, especially past papers? papers around the GCC. For some of you guys that have emailed me, I have sent through some past papers, especially the latest from June. I do feel that it's most important to look at the latest technology, latest developments. Um, some people do go back as far as 1992 to look at the exam questions that they were asking then. I would advise that you can look at that just to refresh your memory on some of the first principles and how to solve the problems, but look rather at the most latest. Polycraft GCC study offers some study material and packs. Um, VCs Engineering, I showed in some of I shared in one of my recent videos and some resources you could look into. VCs Engineering has a, a wonderful refresher course. EMAPs do offer past papers, packs with solutions. So you could look into using them as well because they do give you memorandums and you could always refer back and see if your answers are correct. What I'll also do is some of the past papers that I do have for my subscribers, I'll send you emails of some of those papers, but it will require that you work through it. If you are looking for memorandums, you could work through EMAPs, get study groups together or contact Polycraft GCC. You can contact me. We could work through some examples together, um, but also with VCs Engineer, they can also link you up. Do stay tuned. Later on this week, I will be doing a special video for the 200 subscriber milestone that we've reached. I'll be giving an awesome gift away to one of you guys that have subscribed. Many of you guys have been so engaging, whether it's in the comments, via email, via LinkedIn, suggesting videos and content, answering some questions that other individuals have. And basically what I'm looking for us to do is to build a community where each of us can learn from one another, where each of us can also give back and have this as a ripple effect and a domino effect so that it helps as many people as possible. If you do know individuals and people that can learn from this channel and that can learn from some of the content that is shared, please do refer them to this channel as well. Comment below if you've got some burning questions that you'd like for me to answer. Remember to live your best life, learn as you grow and lead for change. Shab.